All right, guys, Mr. Antonucci here. And if you're taking the AP calculus exam, you already know that a calculator is required for about half of the exam. But here's the deal. You're able to now use Desmos on the AP calculus exam, especially with this hybrid format. It's going to be very, very helpful to you. But here's the deal. You can't just rely on Desmos to do all of the work for you. The College Board expects you to be able to set up your problems correctly before using Desmos. So today I'm going to show you the four essential skills you need in order to crush the AP calculus exam. So let's go ahead and jump in. First up is graphing a function basically in an arbitrary viewing window. So you need to figure out the viewing window for that graph. It sounds simple, right? But on the AP exam, they're not always going to tell you what you, window to use. You have to figure that out. So here's how to do it in Desmos. Type your function in exactly as written. Adjust the viewing window using the, the tool to focus on important parts of the graph. And then look for the key features, whether it's intercepts, asymptotes, extrema, change of sign, whatever the question is hinting at. So I'm going to run through an example with you. So this question comes from the 2016 AB exam question number 2b now we're just going to focus on the question itself so we have the setup there you have a velocity part b says find all times in the interval 0 to 3 when the particle changes direction justify your answer and below here i have a screenshot of the scoring guidelines directly from the college board notice it says v of t equals 0 implies t equals 2.707468 that's all they showed OK, but in order to get this value, we can do that on Desmos and I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. OK, so we're in Desmos now and the first thing we're going to do is type in the function V of T equals one plus two sine of T squared over two. All right. And we want to find all times in the interval zero to three where the particle changes direction. So if you hit the home button, that's going to show you the home viewing window. If you hit the little wrench here, you can change the x axis to go from 0 to 3. Okay? So you can see that the particle, the velocity changes sign at this point right here. And notice it gives you that value of that point. If you press this little button, it'll put up here and as a point. Pretty cool, huh? You don't have to do any work or show anything else. So here's the scoring guidelines again. There is the work that we show that we just got from using Desmos. All right, let's move on to the next one. So the next thing we can do in Desmos is solving equations numerically. Now let's talk about solving these equations. So on the AP exam, you might need to solve an equation where you have to find the intersection point of two functions. The easiest way to do this in Desmos, well, graph both sides of the equation and find their intersection points. You just enter both functions as separate equations and look for where the question, where the graphs intersect. But don't just use guesswork with the cursor. You need to find the actual intersection point. So similar to finding the point that we did in the previous problem, you just click on the point. So we're going to run through an actual example here. So this one comes from the 2022 AB exam question number 2A. You have a region here and you're kind of find the area of the region enclosed by the graphs. Well, in order to do that, we need to find where the two intersection points are on the graph. So we can use Desmos to do that. So the two functions were f of x equals natural log of x plus 3 and then g of x equals x to the fourth plus 2x cubed. Okay, you want to hit that home button so you make sure that you're able to see where the intersection points are and you can also move it around roll up and down on your mouse or plus or minus here and check out the different viewing window. Well, we can definitely see the two intersection points. So one is right here. That's at negative two zero. So you could put that there. And the other one is right here. It's at point seven eight one nine eight. So if we look back at the question, notice the scoring guidelines. You have to show the equations set equal to one another. And also another 
quick trick you could do is because they already defined them as f and g, instead of writing the whole equations here, you could write f of x equals g of x, and then x equals 2 and x equals 0.781975. All right, now the next part that we want to take a look at is finding a numerical derivative at a point. The AP exam sometimes is going to ask you to find f prime of a, the derivative of a function at a point. Now I'm going to show you how to do this in Desmos because Desmos has the capability of finding derivatives. You could get your derivative at a point really easily. However, you don't want to forget to write down the correct mathematical notation for it. So here we have 2023's AB exam question number 2B. Talks about swimming, Stephen swimming back and forth. It gives you his velocity function. Question B asks you to figure out the acceleration at t equals 60 seconds. The acceleration is the derivative of velocity. This is on a calculator or Desmos allowed portion of the exam, so we can use Desmos to quickly figure this out. Now notice in the solutions here, all they have is the notation for the derivative that it equals the acceleration at 60 and then the actual value of it. It's very, very easy to do it in Desmos and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so we're in Desmos now and I've graphed the velocity function, put it in the, the home viewing window and we can scroll out and stuff because it asks us to find the acceleration at 60. Easiest way to do that is actually type in the notation V prime of 60 and it gives you the answer right here. No work needed. All you got to do is make sure your answer is accurate to three decimal places and then we can move on to the next question. Okay, so the fourth and final skill that you need in order to have success on the AP calculus exam with Desmos is being able to evaluate definite integrals using Desmos. Now, thankfully, Desmos has an integral function and Desmos is going to give you the either the exact value, if it's a rational number, you can do that, or the decimal approximation to enough decimal places. Now, as with the other examples, you need to make sure that you show the integral setup and using correct mathematical notation. So here's our example, example from the 2023 AP exam, whether you had A, B, or B, C, this was question number 1C. In part C, they give you the, the function for the rate of flow and ask you to find the average rate of flow. Now, it's going to be a definite integral. This is how we set it up. This is the notation. But once you have that notation down, all you have to do is write the answer because you can get Desmos to do all the calculations for you. So let's jump into Desmos and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so we're in Desmos now and I've already entered the function into Desmos. Now here's how you, you're going to do this. You type INT for the integral symbol and then you could put the lower limit, the upper limit, and since you already have g of t defined for Desmos, you can type g of t in there, dt, and it's going to give you the value of the definite integral. But remember this asks for the average value, so we can go back here, type in 1 over 150 minus 0. So much faster. Now you have your answer here. Okay, so that's it guys. Now, a couple key takeaways as we wrap up. Make sure that you are graphing functions and adjust the window in Desmos. Make sure you know how to do that. Make sure you know how to solve equations by graphing both sides and finding the intersection point. Use the derivative capabilities to find f prime of a and evaluate definite integrals with the integral function. And don't forget, you always need to show your setup in standard math notation, not just Desmos inputs, although Desmos often will have the correct mathematical notation notation there. Well guys, if that video helped, hit that like button and subscribe for more AP calculus tips. Drop me a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and happy studying. Take care.